Hello guys, good morning. It's Saturday, the 2nd of July, and I am starting a three-day trip. And I'm sitting in the parking lot because I'm about 45 minutes early. Uh, I thought there was going to be more traffic this morning. I was all prepared to show you guys all the traffic on the 405. And there was not a stick of traffic. So, of course, my favorite thing to do when there's no traffic is stop by and get my tea at Starbucks. <laughs> so, And also use the restroom. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and enjoy my little tea for a bit and, uh, and then make my way over to the airport. I actually, um, it is right now, it's just after seven. My report is at eight ten AM and I switched trips last night at like eight o'clock <laughs> because I originally had a 4.05 a.m. report time, and so I was imagining getting up at 1.30 in the morning to leave at 2.30 in the morning, and I wanted to cry <laughs> because I didn't want to do it. So I opened up the thing, and I was like, I'm just going to see, and there was a trip that it ends a little later on uh, Monday, on the 4th of July, but um, I honestly don't care. I don't have plans. And um, so it was way more alluring to be able to sleep until five <laughs> and uh, get home a little bit later on Monday. And I get to go to San Diego. So that's one of my favorites. Uh, I have two very best friends that live in San Diego. And I just love San Diego. Like it has just a little piece of my heart. Um, it's a lot like Ventura where I live and, um, so, but I mean on a very much bigger scale, but, uh, I just, I like the vibe there. So anyway, I am ready and, um, I am recovered from my last trip that didn't feel so fun and uh, I'm ready to have a wonderful three day positive vibes and I'm going to have an amazing crew every day. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just putting it into the universe so that it happens. Will you believe with me? Say amen. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, that's all for now. I will check in, uh, tonight I overnight in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which I haven't been there in a hot minute. I remember nothing about it except for I did go to a donut place. I do remember that. So, um, I'm on the plane and we are boarding in like a minute or so and I'm working the B position today. Get to hide in the back a little bit, um, so that's nice. But uh, we have a full boat. We are going out with uh, every seat filled as far as we know, which means um, there's 175. We're actually booked to 176. So I guess they're thinking someone won't show up. So anyway, but it's probably like standbys or something. Um, so I'm going to go do a little housekeeping and I'll see you soon. sitting in the Austin airport, which was actually not that bad. There's a fun little art installation that I'm going to show you um, that they have at uh, between the 12 and the 14 gates. So if you're in Austin airport, you should check it out. It's very cute. And uh, now we are getting ready to board up and head to Tulsa. Pretty sure we're full again, but I haven't really looked, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, off to Tulsa. Here we go. Catches a snark. Thrice, I tell you, we must now embark. Shove off, set sail for the island of Snark. If you're ready to board, and so is the crew. I've said it three times, so you know that it's true. 
This art exhibit is called Interimaginary Departures by Janet Zweig. Interimaginary Departures is a departure lounge at the Austin International Airport that sends you to over 120 fictional destinations found in literature, film, animation, and games. The lounge intersects the airport walls and furniture at a 7 degree angle. It's located next to Gate 14 and is housed at Gate Infinity. Inter-Imaginary Departures includes a flight information display board listing flight times and destinations with their respective inter-imaginary airlines and a departure board with facts about current destinations. There's a cast bronze ticket machine where you can, after answering a questionnaire, you can pre receive a printed or virtual ticket. There are also announcements giving instructions and information about the upcoming flight. Hey guys! Hey, you wins, y'all. I am in Tulsa. I'm in Tulsa. Ooh, it's bright. It's bright up in here. Um, and I finally remembered that the last time I was here, I remember there was a, a corn concert. <laughs> um, so we saw lots of rock and roller guys. Um, okay, so easy peasy day. Thankful, thankful, thankful for that because I just needed it after my last trip. I don't know why I look so red. Ooh. Um, so I, it's like 7 p.m. So I don't think I'm going to go out and it's like 100 degrees and I just, I just don't do well with that heat. So here I am in my room, already got my jams on and um, I'm going to eat some food that I brought because tomorrow I'm San Diego and I'm going out with my frenzies. Um, I have a question for you guys. I brought something because it's something that um, is kind of a comfort food and a uh, brings back some memories so I want to know if you guys have a food item that maybe you ate a lot as a kid or just something that like you remember always liking and sometimes you just think about it and you must have it so my thing is and it's kind of weird so don't judge me but it is tuna and spaghetti so like you make the tuna like you normally would like with mayo or however you like it and then you cook the spaghetti and then you mix together and you, I was going to say you cold it, you um, refrigerate it. So it's like a cold salad um, with lots of salt and pepper. What is going on with my hair? <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my thing and that's what I'm going to have. And I made like a huge container of it. <laughs> So, I'll probably eat it for lunch tomorrow, too. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do tonight. And tomorrow we have four legs. I'll talk about that tomorrow. Okay, I hope you guys are well. Tell me your weird or different or food that you think about, like something maybe that your family had or just something. Like, tell me in the comments. I'm really interested. I like knowing this stuff. <laughs> I think it's interesting because it's like different in different areas of the world and I find that some of the things that I like are not like wouldn't be considered like California because my dad was from Minnesota so I feel like some of the things that I, we have are a little bit Midwest-ish maybe so anyway all right talk to you tomorrow <laughs>
and then this is the gate area which is so nice it's there's room to spread out and lots of space for all the passengers Get out of here and go to San Diego. Can't wait. <laughs> Sacramento, LA. Go home. So, yay! Hope you guys are doing well today. It is the 4th of July, so celebrate safely. Hey, I'll check in later. I wasn't able to uh, wait for coffee and I didn't make it in my room for some reason. I just, I don't know, didn't get my life together. So I'm having airplane coffee. <laughs> Wish me luck. I do not usually drink the coffee on the plane. I'm not really afraid of it, I just never do. So, cheers. Hey guys, there's a new coffee place in Oakland. It's called Farley's. It's actually quite delicious. I also got avocado toast, totally forgot to video it. Just inhaled it because I was starving. So anyway, but it's yummy. You should try it. So we're in Spokane right now, and I think I have Cheetos on my mouth. Um, it's pouring rain. I um, kind of like it because, you know, I don't get to experience rain a lot where I'm at. But um, anyway, it's a little different than when I was here last time. But I'm not staying. Going home. Uh, got two more legs. Two. Sack. Home. Well, sack. L-A-X. Drive home. <laughs> so three legs for me. Anyway, um, I'm going to go eat some Cheetos. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to uh, pull into my house and I wanted to finish up my video uh, so I don't forget. And uh, don't worry, I'm like literally like on the street right before my house, so I'm not being unsafe. So anyway, uh, I actually had a really great trip and um, I was gonna answer a question that was asked on my uh, one of my last videos and it was about food on the aircraft. And yes, we are allowed to eat the food that's on the aircraft, but my airline does not really have that much food. We mostly just have little snack mix packs, like pretzel mix. And on the Hawaii flights, I did show like what that Hawaii snack looks like, which is a little more extensive. And yes, we can have them if there's extras. And uh, yes, we can have drinks. Um, we usually just take waters off. Sometimes I'll take like an extra Diet Coke or something on my overnight just in case. But but usually most people just take water and then um, get whatever else you need or bring it yourself. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully this one was a little more uplifting than the last one. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to give a thumbs up.